Hey, what is up you guys? How you guys doing? So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you all why Vegeta won't be Jiren. Hey guys, it is so hard for me to make this video because I myself, I love Vegeta's character. He's just beast, he's dope, he's just all of the above. So it's really hard for me to make this video. Sadly, this is the reality. I did talk about this in my previous videos, but I didn't really go in depth like too much. So in this video, I'll be going in depth on why Vegeta won't be Jiren. So now let's start off with Goku and we know that Goku got a new technique slash transformation which is called the Ultra Instinct. And we know how immense the Ultra Instinct really is because it rivals the power of the gods and also the gods are scared of it and also even gods have a hard time achieving the Ultra Instinct. And for a fact we know that Dragon Ball series in general is about Goku, he's the top guy, he's always meant to win or someone from his team is meant to win. If you guys remember the mini arc which was Universe 6 vs Universe 7, Beerus vs Champa and guys Vegeta was put up against Hit, the assassin of Universe 6. And even though Vegeta was a Super Saiyan Blue, he was unaware of Hit's techniques, and the technique was the time skip. And that led to the destruction of Vegeta by the hands of Hit. And who were the two fighters that was equal to each other? That was Goku and Vegeta. And what do you do when you want to make Goku look immensely strong and good in battle? You take out Vegeta, because Vegeta is tremendously strong, and he was taken out. That did make Goku look better because he was able to hang on with Hit. Now if it wasn't for the destruction of Vegeta by the hands of Hit, Goku would have not figured out the time skip. Thus he owes it all to Vegeta because Vegeta's battle is what exposed Hit time skip technique and that gave Goku a fighting chance. For a fact, I do think that Vegeta will fight Jiren and he will land some solid shots but at the end, he will be no match for Jiren. Jiren will take him out. But before Vegeta is out, Vegeta will exploit one of Jiren's biggest weaknesses. So in my honest opinion, I could be wrong guys, but in my honest opinion, I do believe the only reason that Vegeta won't be Jiren is because Goku and his new Ultra Instinct. So we know that Goku has Ultra Instinct and also let's just say that Vegeta now has Ultra Instinct too and he beats Jiren. Now that will take away from Goku's Ultra Instinct uniqueness. Now that will just take away everything that Goku achieved and it will just make Goku's form not as unique as it should be. If you guys remember in the Freezer Saga, as soon as Goku arrived on the battlefield, Vegeta knew that Goku achieved Super Saiyan, but he could not still see it yet. Vegeta was hyping up the Super Saiyan transformation. Vegeta was saying how it is so unique and how it is so rare that it happened to Goku. In other words, Vegeta was basically the hype beast for the first ever Super Saiyan transformation, which took place in the Frieza Saga. I'm pretty sure that all of you guys will agree with me when I say that the first ever Super Saiyan transformation mission was the coolest thing we all seen so far in the Dragon Ball series. It was just the best thing that ever happened in the Dragon Ball series. Because it was something that we never seen before and it was so unique and out of nowhere Goku reached such power that was so immense and was able to combat Frieza and beyond. In the Android and the Cell Saga we learned that there was Trunks and he was from the future and he also was a Super Saiyan. And at that moment that happened that degraded the uniqueness from the Goku Super Saiyan transformation and it was not that unique anymore because somebody else also achieved it. And when the Android slash Cell Saga actually began Vegeta was also a Super Saiyan. And that also took down the uniqueness from Goku Super Saiyan transformation just by another 10%. And then we had Gohan versus Cell. At that time, Gohan turned into a Super Saiyan 2. And that really, really degraded the first ever Super Saiyan transformation. It made it look as not as unique as it should have been. And also guys, we learned that Goten and Trunks were able to turn into Super Saiyan at will. And they didn't even know they turned into Super Saiyan. They just did it. Guys, from the bottom of my heart, what I'm about to say right now, it does really hurt me a lot to say. But guys, history has shown us that Vegeta never wins. He is never the last man standing. Ending. But for sure he'll have some shining moment here and there, but Goku always gets the last laugh.